Hi Gemini Virgo, welcome to your weekly reading for the week of July 31st, 2019. All right, let's get going. So your first card in the what is the Eight of Coins in the reverse. So this is um, possibly feeling isolated, um, kind of isolated at the top. Um, you've achieved something, you've achieved independence. Um, but now you might be feeling somewhat alone, like there's no one um, that relates to you almost. Kind of alone in the crowd, very independent. In the recent past, you might um, have met someone very nice, or this could also be you just feeling very, um, like maybe you're, you're really liking being single or being very independent, doing something by yourself. Very independent card. It could also mean that you're, you might be hanging out with um, odd people, people that are different in some way, could even be shady. And I think I already said hard work um, could be paying off for you in some way in your how. You have the justice in the reverse. This can mean uh, legal traps, being treated unfairly. You could be caught in some kind of bureaucratic, mm, like red tape. This can also mean gossip. This can be uh, work or love. It can also mean that you're being singled out or you feel like you're being singled out, like uh, targeted or discriminated against but something unfair she's looking right at this independent card so you might have been forced to be very independent about something and take on something by yourself because you weren't getting any help or either you weren't getting any help with something or someone was literally against you and making life difficult but you're it's not working. You're you're getting it done. It might not be the might not be the most fun thing in the world, but you're getting it done. In the Y, you have the Ten of Coins in the upright. This is called the home. So this could be about your home. It could be something legally unfair about your home. This can also be about your bank account. But this is about things increasing. So your home might be increasing in value. This can just be cleaning your house, but this is increasing the value of your home. You could be doing reno, you could be selling it. You could be trying to think of a way out of a situation. You could be kind of trapped by, trapped by your own structure that you've built your life around. Um, it could mean Trapped in your home, I don't mean trapped in your home, I mean something to do with you're in it or you have it, but you might be trying to let it go or something like that or making the decision as to whether you should let it go, but trying to hang on to it. This can mean putting on a brave face and trying to get, so you could be trying to save your house, something like that, or increasing the value, being treated unfairly, doing something on your own, you might be fixing your house on your own. How you're going to feel, you have the page of cups in the reverse, you might feel like a kid, you might be feeling nervous about something or you don't trust something again you feel like you're doing something alone he's looking away from this so and this can be denial about um, a situation like something deteriorating You might not want to look at it. You might also feel exploited in some way, or you could feel like you're taking advantage of something. This can also, to me, this can also mean the other man card. You might feel like you're an extra. 
to someone's home situation and it's an unfair situation, you might be setting yourself free from this and becoming single. In the advice, you have the High Priestess, or sorry, the Rest card. In regular tarot, this is High Priestess. Um, this can mean secrets are being revealed or going to be revealed. As for advice, this is a silent card. It means to say, stay silent, rely on your intuition. Um, this means increased psychic perception. This is about platonic love. This is about someone feeling very sensitive in all ways, like um, emotionally sensitive and also receptivity. This is, this is all, all about receptivity, this card. Also about discretion, not taking action, so don't do anything. Literally do what the card is called and rest. can also talk about things that are mysterious, picking up on things non-verbally. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Grand Priest, which is interesting because this is the High Priestess and this is the Grand Priest. In regular tarot, this is the marriage card. This is about happy relationships at work, at love, at um, family. Could mean someone having a baby, making an important decision. Being very selective. This is about receptivity and this is about se selectivity. Being very selective. Trying to decide whether you should ignore something or take responsibility for it. Signing an oath, signing a contract. So this is the injustice position. Your advice is to stay silent and then you have this oath card so it almost looks like if you wait, you're, if you're waiting to sign something, if you wait and just kind of chill for a while, you might be signing something soon. An oath or a contract could mean a new job. Something um, coming together, someone agreeing on something together. It could be marriage or it could be like a work thing, a, a work contract, any kind of contract. Taking control of your desires, like putting, deciding what you want and deciding how to get there. Where these are meeting, again, this is about legal matters, but in the positive. This way is in the negative. So in this joining, you have, again, signing contracts, finding peace, inner peace, inner balance, something very logical, getting to the truth, and then this is also about secrets revealed, being revealed, where these are meeting, you have taking a chance, taking a gamble, Something that might not be on offer very long is it's this is about taking Taking an opportunity immediately before it's lost or it could be hanging on to something that's lost It's it's really up to you. However, that uh, resonates for you It can also mean moving or that you've just moved You could be sad about this So very independent, overcoming some type of injustice, trying to decide whether you want something fixed and stable and maybe traditional, taking a chance at something, definitely staying quiet. Um, this is kind of homesick for me too, and this can mean sad but it's also turning away and holding this this guy is holding his cup away oh, that's my little glass blobs flying around i'm glad i used them or it would have been the cards flying around put another one there all right so gemini virgo that was your reading for you for this week and your shuffle song is called 
selling you something and it's by Robert DeLong. All right, I hope you have a great week. I love you guys. Bye.